Hi guys, Mike back again with another Blood Angel Army update. And just before I start this update, I just wanted to say a massive, massive thanks to everyone who watches and subscribes and, um, and enjoys this channel. Um, I've neglected to say it over the last um, couple of videos, but I've noticed that my subscribership has been creeping up and I'm, I'm just over 400 now. And I'm, I'm really, really chuffed. I'm really pleased that people watch and people comment. Um, and it, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really pleased. Um, and, you know, please keep the comments coming. Please let me know what you think of my stuff. And, um, and I, you know, I continue to make videos. Um, I, I, I enjoy, I enjoy doing it. Um, so next up, we've got, um, we're going to be doing a couple of Land Raiders. Um, I've only got the one at the moment. Um, the last, my, my, my sort of next goal really is to, to do my, I want full 10 man Terminator squads. So I've got one in a Land Raider, in a Land Raider Prometheus from Forge World, or, you know, the Forge World bits. And I've just done a 10 man squad of Storm Shields and Thunder Hammer Terminators. And they're going to be in this Land Raider, I think. Um, and then with my pack of, two packs of five Tartarus Pattern Terminators, I'm going to have a different Land Raider, probably just the regular version with the Laz Cannons, um, to put them in. But not, I'm not, I want to show you the Land Raiders, I just want to show you the bits that I've got. So, so this is the Land Raider for my um, previous squad of Terminators I did. They're the ones with the um, red and yellow split shield on their, on their shoulders. So, I'm going to do some sort of yellow, half yellow detail on the doors or something, or down the front. Or, you know, just to kind of signify that this is their Land Raider. So that's, that's kind of thoughts in my mind. So I'm going to adorn these um, these Land Raiders with some bits and bobs. So these are all my bits I've got. And we're going to distribute these bits between two Land Raiders, basically. So I think one Land Raider will have the Forge World bits. So this will probably be the Land Raider for the Tartarus Pattern Terminators. And I'll show you those now. Um, and these bits from Cyborg Minis are going to be the bits for this Land Raider for my previous squad. So, what we've got, like I said, this is from Cyborg Miniatures um, off eBay, so not direct from Cyborg. But they sell bits that happen to fit certain Games Workshop products. <laughs> so, we've bought some, some plates, some decorative plates that will go on the top of the Land Raider. And I kind of thought these had a bit of a Blood Angel feel to them with the with the goblets there, the, you know, the sort of chalice. So that, they'll go on the top of the of the Land Raider. So they're pretty cool. And then we've also got just some extra decoration. These pieces again with the chalices and the kind of hooded skulled figure and these you'll notice are, are a particular shape that might well just fit in um, <laughs> that section of a land raider maybe should we have a look and see if it works um, So there's our Land Raider side. Oh, look at that, they fit perfectly. So, <laughs> so yes. Um, so yeah, just to, just to kind of create a different look to that Land Raider, we're gonna adorn it with these resin pieces. So we're not gonna go mad, um, but, but just those two little, little add-ons, little additions, I think will look really, really nice um, on that Land Raider. And like I say, we'll do some um, airbrushing as well to kind of give it a half yellow split not the whole Land Raider but just sections of it like we'll um, put some yellow accents on it to match up with their um, their shield detail so for the other Land Raider which I haven't bought yet but I thought I'd get the bits um, we've got Terminator Land Raider doors from Forge World so you get the two two side doors and the, and the front door um, for your Land Raider they're cool I've had these before very nice and this I have not had before. This is a Land Raider reinforced armour kit. And I was just looking around the Forge World website, just kind of looking really. And um, I've never had this before, so I thought I'd pick it up just to see. It was £19, so quite expensive to be fair. 
Um, I do, the pictures on the on on the Forger website don't do it justice actually. Um, these um, instructions are section, so that's your spaced armor. So you obviously you can see the gap between the Land Raider and the and the armor. So that's the spaced armor, which I haven't got. This is the reinforced armor. So you can see there clearly that the, the, the resin as opposed to the plastic bits. Um, I'm really pleased with that. I mean, just look at the side of that. It really chunks it up, makes it look completely different. I'm really, really chuffed with that. Um, so we'll have a look at what you get. So we get two, um, two door frames, two sides for doors. Um, you'll have to forgive me because I don't know what all the pieces are. We get some panels for the for the front. Yeah, they'll go on the front, I think. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that'll go on. They'll go on the front. And then we've got some panels there for the back. So there we go. Sort of six pieces you get there for for nineteen quid. Um, I think it's really going to sort of chunk out the land right there. I think it's going to make it look pretty cool. So I'm, I'm really chuffed with that. So this is this is going to be a while because I'm going to do the other Land Raider first because I want um, my Tartarus pattern terminators to have the Laz Cannons and my current squad of Land Raider, um, my current squad of Terminators to have um, either the the Bolters, the Bolter option on this, on, on the Redeemer Crusader version or the, um, what else do you get? Or the Flamers. So anyway, that's it. That's my next kind of project underway. And um, again, big, big thank you to everyone who watches, everyone who subscribes. And um, I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys.